Behind almost every cool AI thing you have ever seen, there is often one starting question. How do you find the minimum of a function? And to do that, we use a powerful algorithm called gradient descent. Imagine working on a recipe trying to find the perfect quantity of salt. You can think of it as a graph, so the amount of salt changes how bad the dish tastes. So you start with a random amount of salt. You taste it, and it's way too bland. So you try again, now it's too salty. So you adjust again, and again, and again. Eventually, you find that sweet spot, the minimum bad taste. So that's the intuition behind gradient descent. But how does the algorithm know if it's too salty or too bland? This sense of direction comes from the gradient. It points in the direction of steepest increase, so it tells us which way is up in our function. It even works if you have multiple variables like salt and garlic. But here we want the minimum, so we go the opposite way, downhill, towards the steepest descent. And to control how fast we go, we scale that step by a factor called the learning rate. Too slow and we would take too much time, too fast and we risk overshooting the minimum. By repeating this process, taking small steps downhill, Gradient Descent finds the solution, even when things get more complicated. And that's Gradient Descent. Now imagine this simple valley isn't just in 3D, but has millions and millions of parameters. That's the complex world that modern AI models move through, guided by this simple, surprising idea.